Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn what is try with resource concept in Java programming language. So what is it? The try with resource concept is a very powerful and important feature that simplifies the management of resources such as files, sockets, and database connections that need to be closed after their operations are completed. The try with resource concept was introduced in Java 7 to handle resource management more safely and efficiently by automatically closing resources, thereby reducing the risk of resource leak. And here is the syntax of try with resource. Inside try, you are passing an object of a resource type. That may be of an object of a file, a sockets, or an object of a database connections. So inside try, you will use some resources. And whenever you will come out from a try block, your resources used object will be closed automatically. There is no need to close an object of a resource explicitly in try with resource concept. In the previous traditional approach, what we were trying to do, we were creating an object of a resource type and manually we were just closing that object using a close function. But the beauty of try with resource concept is Inside, there is no need to call a close function explicitly in order to perform some closing operations. So let us understand with the help of a programming example, how to perform some write operations on a file using buffered writer class. So let me just create an object of a buffered writer, which is present inside java.io package. So this is a kind of resource type buffered writer that can be used to perform some write operations. So here we are creating an object of buffered writer. So before creating an object, let me just try to add a try block or inside it, you will pass this resource, right? Buffered writer and you will create an object that is writer is equal the new buffered writer. Inside it, you will create an object of a file writer in order to create some file. So for example, the file name is students.txt, right? So this is the name of the file we are supposed to create. And here you can see, let me just break it into line. So it will be easy to understand. So here the compiler is complaining that is unhandled exception type IO exception. So you can add a catch corresponding to a try. So now the compiler will not complain. Now here you have created an object of buffered writer. Writer is an object and we can say this is a handle and this is a key object to perform some writing operations. So how will you write some content on the file student.txt? You will simply use the writer object dot write function you can call or you can just add some name inside it for example the name is james in the similar way you can add different name by calling this write function like james mira and you can call ram right or let me just add a final statement in order to display a message means the writing writing operations completed right so let me just run this program and here you can see the resource object that is a writer we are not closing the writer object in the previous traditional approach we are we were supposed to close this object by calling a close function so this statement is not required in try with resource whenever you will come out from a try block this writer object will be closed automatically so i am just removing this line no need to write the close function here let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it so here you can see the it is showing the writing operation completed successfully and you will refresh your project and you will see the file is created student.txt and here we have a name all are in the one line james mira and ram so you can add 
the new line also by calling a function writer dot new line and your names all the student name will come in the new line let me just add new line after each write operations you will just save it and you will run it again and you will see what is the output of it the student dot txt you can see all names are present in new line so this is how to perform write operations by using a travel resource concept if you just remembered in the previous traditional approach we have just perform multiple write operations and we have to just close all the connections manually right right so in this travel resource there is no need to call that close function explicitly so let me just show you the difference between the traditional approach and this private resource concept okay let me just create this part so let me just show you the difference between the previous approach and this new approach okay so i will remove this part and just this one also and this one right so i think that's nice here okay so everything is good okay so that is the previous traditional approach that is try and catch block and here you can see we have unclose the writer object manually so we have to close writer object here that is writer dot close so you will call this function if you will not call this function let me just show you the impact of it so this is the code i have written to just write some content or some names to the file student.txt let me just save this program and run this let's see what will be the output of it and you can see it is showing the writing operations completed and you will just refresh your project and you will open student.txt you can see there is no content on student.txt file what is the reason here we are getting a successful message but there is no content on this student.txt file so why the content is not displayed here the content is not written so here you can see if you will go to the writer object and hover your mouse so it is showing there is a warning that is a resource leak writer is never closed so in the previous traditional approach every time you have to close any opened object explicitly by calling a close function if you will not call the close function your program will not perform well right and here you have seen there is no content on this file right so we have to close all the connections manually in the previous traditional approach by calling the close function let me just save it and here right now the compiler is not showing any warning of resource leak you will just save this program and you will run it again let's see what is the output of it let me just refresh your project and you will open student.txt and here we go you can see the content is present so that is the difference between the previous traditional approach and this travel resource concept so you may might be thinking okay we can close the connections manually so what is the harm in it right so let me just show you what are the different hassles you will just face if you will just perform some closing operations explicitly right so if what is the first problem right for example inside a try block you are performing some write operations or inside of any write operations there may be some exceptions if some exceptions will be generated inside these write operations so control will come out from a try block immediately and the control will not come to the closing operation so your object will not be a closed properly if some exceptions are occurred in between these write operations so if your object will not be closed properly so there will be again a problem of a resource leak and whenever there will be a problem of resource leak your file or your programs will not behave properly your content will not be written on the file properly that is the one problem right the second problem okay you can see okay let us close this object let us close this object inside a finally block so that is also a good approach you can add a finally block 
or inside it you can just close this object because whenever some exceptions will be occurred inside these write operations so this finally block always executed and this will just close this object okay so there will be no problem of resource leak but here there is another problem in the finally block it is showing the writer cannot be resolved so here the writer object is not available in the finally block because we have created inside it try block so we can find out the solution of it okay you can just remove this content from try block or you can just add you know outside the try block so here again the compiler is complaining that is unhandled exception type so you have to use again throws and try catch so multiple try catch you have to use right so how can you just solve this problem you can just come back to the try block you can come here right you can just remove this buffered writer from here and you can create the object of buffered writer outside that is writer or you can provide some null values to it right so you can see your problem is solved now right so you have to just you can create the buffer writer object outside or you can just call here but again you have solved that problem but again here in the inside a finally block the compiler is complaining let's see what is the complaint now so compiler is complaining again the unhandled exception type io exceptions because this close function always throws an exception of io exceptions that is input output exception so here you you have also again managed this exception using a try and catch block so you can see now your problem is resolved right so if you have observed what we are doing we are just these steps are very little complicated right these steps are little complicated multiple times you are using try and catch inside finally block also in order to perform some closing operations right you are creating an object a buffered writer outside the try right and you are assigning this null value so you can see these are these steps are little bit complex if you will compare with that try with resource so it is a better concept it is a better way you can use the try with resource concept in order to perform such kind of task to make your code readable or more you know easier right so you can see that is the traditional way to perform some write operations using the buffered writer or the new file writer class okay so i hope you understand the concept of private resource so instead of just doing these you know these operations you can simply use a try and catch so let me just remove everything from here and come to the previous state okay so this is try with catch i will remove this i will add this buffered writer or i can do undone everything right you can see let me just just doing all operations undone right so you can see this is your try and catch operations so this is the concept of try with resource i hope you understand the difference between the try with resource concept and the previous traditional approach that we are supposed to perform before java 7 we were trying to we were closing all the operations manually so you can decide by yourself which approach is easy and more readable and more you know understandable okay so this is the concept of private resource so guys i hope you understand the concept and thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day in the next video session we will come up with a new interesting video bye bye for now have a great day